Listen here, friend, are you sick? Do you have sometimes a feeling of tightness across your chest? Sometimes do your fingertips tingle? You feel like you're out of breath? Sometimes do you feel like a little rumbling is going on and on your stomach and coming up to your mouth and you have a bitter taste in the back of your mouth? Sometimes do your joints ache? Then send me one dollar and I will send you one bottle of medicine free. No, just kidding. <laughs> Actually, today, here we are um, on our Wisdom University voyage, and we're getting ready to go up in just a little while to the Oracle of Dodona, where people talk to trees. And when I was in psychiatry as, uh, in the mental hospital, when somebody came and talked to me about talking to a tree, I would put them in the hospital. But here in ancient Greece, they did it on a regular basis, and they felt they got messages through the trees from Zeus. And then as I got older and more mature, I realized they were right. Um, you really can get messages through trees. And um, this afternoon, we're going up to the Oracle of Dodona, which is the most ancient of the Greek oracles, in which there was a huge oak tree. And the the prophets would lie down underneath the oak tree. People would pose their questions to the prophets. And the prophets would get in a relaxed state and they would hear the rattling of the leaves. And they would make out voices in the rattling of the leaves, much as we do when we um, see faces in clouds. And this institution that we will go to, to uh, this afternoon is really one of the foundation points of Western thought. Um, Homer even mentions Dodona. So again, aren't you jealous that you're not with us? Yes, you should be. You should be. I can feel that guilt feeling right through this camera. That you're feeling guilty. Oh, why didn't I go with Ray Moody and Jim Garrison and Will and Judith and Bob on this trip? I just made such a big mistake and I hope you will realize that. That you just made a big mistake by not coming on this trip. <laughs> And I hope you'll be wiser the next time and that you'll listen to these circulars and you'll read your mail. Some of you probably didn't even read your mail and you missed out on this wonderful opportunity. So again, put your hand on the TV set and pray to God and ask Jesus if you should come on this trip the next time. And only if Jesus says yes should you come. We don't want anybody on this trip that doesn't hear it as a divine message. So put your hand right now on that TV and just ask, should I have come on this trip? And if your answer is yes, send me $1,000. Box 425, Chocolaca, Alabama, 36254. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.